Hey guys, my name is Leah, and today I am doing a Q&A. Also, as you can see, I have some new hair. I do, I do, I like it, I love it. I want some more of it, that's corny as fuck. Let's get on with it. What is your natural hair color? Well, technically, I am a strawberry blonde, which if you don't know, the light makes it really, really red, so it makes it look like I'm a ginger. I don't know how many jokes as a kid I got that I was a ginger. I am not, it's just strawberry blonde. You can look it up if you want. It kind of looks like this, just a little bit. I'm sorry. Are you and Lexi, Robbie's ex? Lexi, still friends, does Robbie mind? We haven't talked since the last video we did, but I have had a lot of stuff going on with back home, here, moving, job, you know, a lot of stuff. So, we haven't talked, but we do have another video we have to do, and I would love to hang out with her again. So, yes, I don't think Robbie minds. What is your favorite anime? I don't think I have a favorite. I absolutely love Tokyo Ghoul. I think that's the newest one that I've watched that I'm obsessed with, but I have been catching up on Fairy Tale. Oh my god. Natsu and Grey. That's just. When did you start dyeing your hair and why? I started dyeing my hair technically when I was like 15 ish. I dyed my hair extremely bright red. It went on for a few months and it was an entire like freaking weak process to get it off. I will never dye my hair red again. Since my hair is already naturally red, it took to the red a lot more than I thought it would, so it stayed and stuck, and it was like orange for a week. It was terrible. Never again. The reason I started dyeing my hair is because I like being different. I like standing out, but I did start dyeing my hair. Okay, so it's been like a year and a half actually now. Uh, the first color I dyed it was purple. The reason I did it, I'm a little embarrassed, but I wanted to stand out and I wanted to get my ex-boyfriend's attention. And his ex-girlfriend had dyed hair, the whole emo thing, so I was like, I'm gonna do it. Maybe he'll love me more. What's the favorite thing that Robbie has done for you? He helped me get out of my home. <laughs> he helped me get out of the uh, entire stress and chaos that was my life. And I am now here in California with less stress and less chaos. It is so much better and where did I say California? I said California, right? Anyway, I'm here in California and I love it. I couldn't be happier and that's the biggest thing he's done for me. I don't think he realizes it, but it, it means a whole bunch to me. What size are your ears stretched to and do you plan on getting any piercings in the future? My ears are stretched to a double zero. I said I wouldn't go bigger, but I may have lied. I'm not sure. I already have seven. I have my two lip rings. I have my gauges. I have my day. Can't really see it. It's in there. You see the little shiny? It's in there. And then I have my belly button. So I'm halfway there. My plan is to have, was it 13 by the time I'm done? I will have one more date. I will have my industrial. I will get my septum. And two more on each ear right above my gauges. Which I'm probably gonna do a video on that soon with me re -pierce. I'm probably gonna do a video on that soon on piercing my ears at home because I've done it before. It doesn't hurt. Piercings for some reason don't hurt me. So I'm just gonna do it at home. Same with my septum. Do I have any siblings and what are their names? I do. I have two beautiful little sisters. I have one that is 17, her name is Jasmine. A lot of people say she looks like me, but believe me when I say she is nothing like me, she is even better. I have a even younger sister named Cheyenne, not spelled the way that normal people spell. It's literally Shy and Ann, S-H-Y, a-N-N-E. It's extremely unique and I love it. She is eight. She just turned eight. It makes me feel like I'm old. I basically raised her and it's just like, <laughs> she's growing up so fast. What brand of hair dye do you use? Oh, I don't know. Something with an arctic and with a fox. It's I use arctic fox. The colors are extremely vibrant. It's not that much. It, completely helped my hair from the point that it was. If you have not followed me from the beginning, I destroyed my hair, which is why it's extremely short and I wear extensions. 
So Arctic Fox has helped revive my hair along with my new friend Michelle. She helped do a coconut treatment on my hair and an hour later I was like, oh, it's so pretty. When was the last time you cried? Last night. I have had so much drama with my family and I am so worried about them right now that I bawled like basically all night and it was terrible and I don't want to go back to it again. Let's forget about it. Okay, next question. On a scale from 1 to 10, how painful were your snake bites? Completely honest, my snake bites didn't hurt. Having to re-pierce them hurt extremely. When I started working at Bubblegums, I didn't know that you couldn't have two face piercings at the same time. So I had to take them out. This one had no issue. I was able to put the piercing in straight away, but I've had issues with this one since I've gotten it, with it coming out in my sleep and being pulled through by someone. And so I've just had multiple issues with it and I had to re-pierce it twice already. So it's still a little irritated, but I have my plastic ones in. Mm, can't really see it. Yeah, you can't see it. But um, they're for work. So for the questions that I get, why don't you wear your snake bites anymore? I still have my snake bites. I absolutely adore them. I love them. They didn't hurt. I just can't wear them at work. So if I only have one day off, I just keep my snake bites in. If I have two or more days off between my job, then I put my normal hoops in. But until I find a happy medium, like a clear hoop or something like that, I won't have anything but these in unless I have an extensive amount of days off pick this question because it's super obvious. If you had to marry the last person you kissed, would you be happy? Yes, I would be happy. The last person I kissed was Robbie. I am extremely happy with him now. I have no doubts that's gonna last for a while. And I wouldn't mind being tight. Okay guys, that's, oops. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have not noticed, I have a new member in my video. Giant teddy bear. So we were driving one night and I saw this teddy bear just sitting in our parking garage. And I was like, if it is if it is still there in the next three hours, I am taking it. I woke up and this giant thing was sitting next to my car and I was so scared. Our friend Tori, she remembered and she took the bear and put it next to my car. It scared me. I thought some creeper was listening to us or something. It was strange. But now I have this extremely fluffy and colorful teddy bear that is probably going to be in the background of all my videos now. Isn't my cute? Aww. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I know it's been a while, but this month I'm going to try and crack down on myself and film some more videos. I hope you enjoyed this one. I will have one coming out soon. I'm extremely sorry for the gaps in between my videos. I've become a little careless and I've been working. So again, I apologize. I will see you all soon. I love you. Bye.